All right, guys, as promised, we are here at the beach. This is Sombrero Beach, to be exact. Starting off on this rocky point here. It's pretty treacherous down below. I see some Sergeant Major swimming around already, as well as some other uh, smaller species of fish. But I'm gonna start off with the voodoo shrimp that I had on last night before we close things out. This is day number three in Marathon, so we're going to cast around here and see if anything comes up. On the hunt for new species once more. So far we have 11 new species this trip at 109 in total for my life list. We're going to see if we can add it to that. Alright guys, I'm going to switch up to, to bait here real quick. There's Tons and tons of Sergeant Major around, but we're going to be on the hunt for something other than those because we already caught them for our list. I see a little Schoolmaster Snapper around and some other fish that I can't quite pick out in the water. So we're going to switch up to bait and hook. There's a moray eel right here. Do you see that, guys? Look at that. Green moray eel right here. Can you see him? He's swimming that way. That is crazy. That thing is huge. Just sliding right through the rocks. Maybe I'll use a piece of cup bait if he comes back out. Alright guys, we got our rig set up here. We got a tiny size 18 hook with a tiny piece of shrimp that's probably going to get stolen right away. And then we got a swivel with a split shot attached there to our main line. And that is what we're going to be using. I'm going to try and single out some of the fish I haven't caught yet, if I can. But I believe that is going to be a tough thing to do. So, let's uh, try and have some patience because we're probably going to be weeding through a lot of Sergeant Major and other fish that we're not trying to target. But hopefully something cool will come up. Alright guys. Finally got our first fish out of the rocks here, and this is definitely a new species for me. This is a species of blenny. I don't know exactly what type of blenny it is, but I'm gonna take some shots of this guy, and then we're gonna let him go. But very cool species of fish. That'll be our 12th new species of the trip. Got him on the size 18 hook and a piece of shrimp. Dodged the damsel fish, and I was able to get him. All right guys, last look at a little blenny here. First fish off the Sombrero Beach. And he's going to go back down the rocks. Very cool species of fish. Not sure exactly what type of bunny that was. I think it is most likely a hairy bunny. Um, but we'll reach out for confirmation on that. That way we're not misidentifying the fish. Second fish of the day is this little white grunt. A little more pretty colors on this guy compared to the ones we were catching back at the dock, but he definitely did swallow the hook. There we go. Hook is out. There's our little white grunt. He's going back in the water. Next fish punching the rocks is a little Sergeant Major. We're just going to go ahead and quickly unhook this guy and let him go. Thankfully, he didn't swallow my shrimp, so we still have it for the next fish. Now, to get back in there, see what else we can grab. Alright guys, my squid finally thawed, so I can start using some squid here. So I should have to change baits less consistently, but um, I'm sure these Sergeant Major are still going to steal it every chance they get. Well, let's cast out there and see what comes up. Next species of the day is a little schoolmaster snapper. Hopefully this guy didn't get the hook too good because these guys do have teeth. Probably will cut the line. 
see if I can jostle it out of there. I may have to tie on a different hook. Got the hook out of our little schoolmaster snapper here. I'm just gonna toss it back in the water. All right guys, another species for the day. I believe this is a tumtate grunt. Earlier in the trip, I misidentified a sailor's choice grunt as one of these, but I believe that is definitely a tumtate grunt, but I will leave some in the subtitles if I uh, misidentified that. Another species yet for the day. This is the sailor's choice grunt. Showed up on the squid and forced inhaled the bait. We're gonna try and get this guy unhooked and all right guys, Sailor's Choice there is unhooked. Now we're gonna toss him back in the water. He's good to go. There it is guys. I finally got my first damselfish of the trip other than the Sergeant Major, which is a species of damselfish. I'm not sure which one this is, probably just a dusky damselfish. I was punching um, a hole within the rocks there and I was able to get one. He's got a little purple on the bottom fin there. Let's go ahead and take a shot and release this guy. Pretty little fish. All right guys, damselfish is going back in the water here. We're just gonna pop the hook out nice and easy. Size 18 hook for the win. There he is. And make sure he doesn't get caught on the rocks on his way in. And off he goes. First one of the trip. That is a new species for me. So I believe we're at 111 species now so pretty good pretty good and we haven't even fished any of the bridges yet so there's a chance for those to hold some new species too off to a pretty decent start I would say punched the same rock as that um, last fish and got another species of blenny it could be possibly the same species of bunny, I'm not 100% certain, but this one has much beautiful colors. So I'm very happy to get this guy, because that is an absolutely gorgeous fish. Got a little bit of teal there on the percular flap, nice red on the fins. Gorgeous species of fish. Alright guys, last look at our blenny there. That could be the same species that I caught earlier, just in the male versus female color patterns. Or just in the um, different stages that they have. But either way, a gorgeous species of fish that is prettier than the other one I caught. So we'll just go by that. And it just came out of that little hole down there by the rocks on a little tiny piece of squid on a size 18 hook. Finesse angling at its finest, but glad it paid off. Very cool to catch those species of blennies because I haven't caught any type of blenny before. I'm hoping a species of goby will show up at some point during this trip. I know there's some frill fin goby, notch tongue goby, and tiger goby that have been seen around this area. So hopefully we can find some of those drift trips as well. Casted way out there and yet another damselfish showed up. Finally popping up all over the place now. get this guy safely unhooked and back in the water here. You're getting pretty good diversity out of this spot. I like it. I got some grass patches out here, so see if anything new comes out of that. All right, guys, I switched up to a bottom rig that I can cast further out. I got a little yellowtail snapper here. Tiny guy, but pretty fish. I was getting my bait fleeced out there for a minute, but then I finally set the hook and got this guy. Off in the water he goes. Great species diversity today so far. Another fish on guys, let's see what we got here. And it is, that should be a tumtate. Just a little guy. Got him right on the bottom of the lip. Hook is out, fish is released. Another species for the day just came up. Little lane snapper. This one's smaller than the one I caught yesterday off the dock of the house. But we'll take it. 
no new species since the uh, damselfish. But I'm casting out a little bit farther, trying to find a little more different range of habitats to cast to. That lean snapper is going to be good to go. Fish on, guys. Let's see what we got coming up here. Oh, it looks like a grunt of some sort. It is another tum tate. Felt a little bit decent. Thought it was going to be something different. Let's get this line untangled. May have to take a break from fishing here. A little bit, it's getting mighty hot out. Could use some water. Fish on, let's see what comes up. It is another lane snapper. Get this guy unhooked here. He's good to go. Oh, there's a nurse shark right at my feet there. I don't even know if that'll pop up on the camera or not, but he just went right down in these rocks. Not as big as the one I caught yesterday. That one's probably a foot and a half, two feet. Here's another species for the day. This is going to be a blue stripe grunt. Pretty colors on that guy. He's grunting for us a little bit. I think I might move over and throw some casts over on the shallower side and see if anything different comes up. And then after that, we'll probably call it for the for the morning. Grab something to drink and enjoy the beach for a little bit but pretty productive morning, at least three new species. The tumtate I kind of caught yesterday, but the tumtate I took a picture of was actually a sailor's choice. So I didn't take a picture of the tumtate that was actually a tumtate, whole thing. But now we can technically catch it or count it as a species um, since we got photo evidence now. So tumtate, whatever type of blenny, and whatever type of damselfish there's a chance that the damselfish could be different species from each other and the blenny could be different species from each other but we'll uh, confirm that later all right guys still at the beach here but before we wrap things up i went out to this pier it's super shallow over here but there are a few micro species that are hanging around so i tied on a little tanago hook we got a little tiny sliver of squid on there and we're going to try and get these fish to bite on the Tanaga hook. My experience saltwater fishing with the Tanaga hook has not been that great, but hopefully our luck will change. There was a goby around here earlier. That's going to be our prime target, but we will see if that will show up. All right, guys, I finally caught one of these Maharas here. Not really sure what it is. It took a good time to get this guy landed. Um, it's gonna be even more of a pain to identify this guy, but let's take a quick shot before he slips away and yeah, cool